big one, Good Friday circle on the calendar? It is. It's a very important day, um, not only for our football club, but I think for, um, for everyone involved with the Good Friday appeal. Um, it's a great cause. Uh, it's very unfortunate that there's so many sick kids um, in a hospital that don't deserve to be there at the moment. Um, but we're very privileged to be able to play on Good Friday and um, have the opportunity to raise much needed funds for, for such a great charity in the Good Friday Appeal. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a big occasion, the Good Friday Super Clash, that we're, we're thrilled to be involved again with the Bulldogs. Um, we're just really looking forward to putting on a good show. Super Clash, where does that come from? Got no idea. Sounds cool. I think it's a, it's a big family day, so we're trying to get as many families and kids down as possible, um, get everyone involved, get as many uh, bumps on seats at, at Marvel as we can, and as I said before, just raise as much money as possible for, for such a great um, charity. What's the plan in the lead up to try to raise money as you touched on? There's plenty of marketing stuff going out in socials um, for both clubs, trying to draw up a lot of interest. Um, and we all know on Good Friday as well, the Good Friday Appeal hold um, their telethon and their, their big fundraising um, stuff that they do as well. So we're in conjunction with all that. We've got the game. We've got plenty of tin rattlers getting around, I think, the concourse on game day for everyone who's, who's, um, who's attending. Um, and I'm sure there's some donations for tickets and stuff like that as well. So um, if you're free and you've got nothing on, Good Friday, which I think a fair few people don't have many plans, and then get on down to Marvel Stadium for a great game, a great cause. Now, no doubt you remember last year's game. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a great day for the footy club. Is that going to be talked about in the lead-in, or is it going to be something that might be a source of motivation? No, it wasn't a great day. I mean, we... Um, we were beaten pretty badly last year, this time last year. So um, we know the Bulldogs are a quality team. I mean, they played in the grand final last year and um, they've got stars all over the paddock. So we're going to have to be on our toes um, to make sure that we're in the game. And um, I think last week was really important for us uh, to gain a little bit of confidence. It was disappointing we didn't win, but I think we made some good strides in the way we wanted to play our football. Um, and I think it's a great challenge again on, on a big occasion, on a Friday afternoon for our young group against a really good side in the Bulldogs to, to see what we're capable of. Do you feel like you've come a long way since this time last year? Oh yeah, it's been a, a big 12 months for our footy club and um, we have improved a lot. Um, the the win losses uh, may not potentially show that, but I think the way we play our footy, the way we've matured as our group, the last 12 months we've learnt plenty of lessons and, and we are much better for it. So um, we're looking forward to the opportunity Friday to put it all out there on the ground against a really good team. And only one win for your club this year, but only one for them as well. So it's not going to be any shortage of motivation for a win. Oh, absolutely not. And I don't think there, there ever is, to be honest. Um, regardless of where they sit or where we sit, we understand that they're a really good side um, and what we have to do to beat them as well. What have you made of them? Yeah, I mean, as I said before, they're, they're a quality side. They've got stars all over the paddock. Um, they're very, very dangerous going forward. They've got big forwards who can take marks, kick big bags of goals, and um, it was well publicised on the weekend. They definitely had enough opportunity to kick a winning score, and um, we've all been there in games and not been able to do that and convert your opportunities. So um, we're going to expect their best, and they're going to come out with their best, and we have to match it. And, um, yeah, hopefully put our best foot forward and give them a red-hot run for their money. What end of the ground are we going to see you at this week, Jack? Uh, I'll have to wait and see. No, I think I'll probably play Ford again this week. Um, it was nice to have a bit of an impact up there last week, but in saying that, um, we've got some really, you know, developing Fords in our Ford half and big Nick Larkey. Um, Todd Goldstein's playing a little bit more down there as well. Cam Zerhar's probably going to miss through concussion, but we've got a few um, prongs to our attack now, which is really exciting. Who are the contenders to come in? Um, I think Eddie Ford missed last week through health and safety. Um, he was back training today and training really well, so he'll be putting his hand up. Um, and there's also a couple of young guys coming through, like Paul Curtis and um, a few others that might be able to put their hand up. But again, that's up to the coaches to decide. Now, there was some uh, fairly big news in the AFL world earlier today. What did you make of it all? And what did you make of Gill's reign at the top? To be honest, I only just found out not long ago. We just got off the training track. So uh, that all unfolded pretty quickly. And uh, I mean, Gill's uh, done a fantastic job for our game in some pretty trying circumstances the last few years. And um, if you look at the legacy he's going to leave, it's, um, it's one that's, that's going to last for a very long time. Um, we've been very fortunate to have him running our game for, for the last few years. And just last one, Jack, you want to get a big crowd for Good Friday, what's the message? Come along, bring your kids, bring your mum and dad, bring everyone you know. Uh, we want to get as many people at the game as possible and, and ideally we want to raise as much money as we possibly can. Um, I think Good Friday is one of the only days that football takes a, a back seat. Um, and there's going to be plenty of people representing the Royal Children's Hospital um, here on Friday. Um, and as I said before, we're very fortunate to be involved in this game and, and pioneer this game and uh, very thankful to the AFL for the opportunity to be able to play and, and have a big impact and uh, hopefully raising a lot of money for, for a really great cause.